Hey guys, so I have Molly here with me and she had a haircut this week so she's looking so good and she's so soft. So guys, I am like, not, I don't know if I should do this when it's 9 or 10 weeks because I'm almost 10 weeks in like 2 days. So I think, I don't know, I feel like I've been doing every other week and I still, like we're still trying to decide when to tell you guys we just got our pictures back. I'm so excited. We took our pictures to do the gender reveal and they look awesome and amazing and I cannot wait to show you guys. I can't wait to post. I'm like nervous and excited and they just look so good. And it was so hard to choose which one to post first. I'll show you guys that was like, we're all like surprised and like he was holding a pregnancy test. I saw it on Pinterest and I really wanted to do that. I thought it was so funny. I really think that's what we're thinking right now that we're going to post first. We just have so many good ones. We held up like these little heart, um, these little heart onesies and they were so cute. And then we had little signs, especially I really like the one that says, and then there were five. I was really debating on that one or the other one to post first, but I really like the funny one. So I think we're going to do that one first. And then a couple other ones that were just so cute, so cute. I just loved it. And we did a lot with the ultrasound pictures, so I'm so glad we waited and took the pictures after we got the ultrasound pictures done. And it was just so cute, and I just loved it. And that was so exciting. So that was so cool. I can't wait to do it. I want to do, like, fraternity pictures. I had none fraternity pictures before with the girls. Um, I just always waited and did pictures when they were, like, babies. Never done, like, a photo shoot when I had, like, a big belly and everything. So that will probably be, like, this summer, um, like, June or July sometime. She was saying, like, about 30 weeks would be good. If I want to do it, like, just by myself or, like, I still think I'd like to have the girls there and Joel and do, like, some family pictures also. But then maybe do, um, some just with me. I don't know. So, just trying to get everything in this time because we don't know if this will be our last one and I'm just trying to enjoy every minute. Like when I took pregnancy tests, I took so many and it was just really confusing because I didn't know at first and then it was like, okay, there's a little line. It was like, okay, I really need to go get the test because those are actually old that I just had left over from Claire and that was just in our cabinet and so it was like... It was just so crazy, but I was so excited, and I was just like, this might be the last time I take a pregnancy, yeah, so I just want to, and have a positive pregnancy, yeah, so I just wanted to enjoy that moment, and just every little thing, like, even though I've been sick this time, I'm just, like, trying to enjoy it, and it has made me think, okay, do I want to go through this again, <laughs> so, in the future, but, because three-day kiddos are a lot, and it's just going to be, our lives are just going to get crazy and busy, and, but, I don't know, because, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I mean, if either way, if it's a boy and we have two girls and a boy, it's like, are we done? Is that it? We have our boys and our girls now. And if it's another girl, it's like we have three girls. It's like, oh my gosh, if you want to risk getting dragging, because we could have another girl or we could have a boy finally. Like, it's so, it's crazy. We go back and forth all the time. Because I've been sick, I have some things to show you guys in this pregnancy vlog. So, and Molly's here, um, and as soon as I stop petting her, she's probably going to get up and try to get in front of the camera. So, anyway, Preggy Pop Drops. These, I got at Target, and they've been a lifesaver. I actually I have one of these every single morning. Sometimes throughout the day. This time, my nausea has been, like, throughout the day, and I haven't really been feel like, like, this time, <laughs> it's been weird, because this time when I've been nauseous, like, it makes me not want to eat. Like, I just don't really feel like eating. And I haven't really ate that much. I've been snacking a lot. But even when I snack on something, sometimes I'm just like, this is just not what I really want. And then when I try to eat, like, a big, good meal, sometimes it's just like, ugh. I don't know. I'm just, I'm hoping this is going to go away after. Because, yeah, I'm, like, almost 10 weeks. So, they usually say about a second term. So, I think three more weeks. I'm really hoping that it'll go away. And... I'll be fine after this, but yeah. But I do take a shake every morning, these Relive Shakes. I've taken these since I was a kid, and the kid kind, and then now this is the adult kind, and then, um, so I've taken these every morning. I've talked about these before in vlogs and other other videos. Yeah, these are amazing. I take this for breakfast every morning. Sometimes I also have cereal or something, or like a banana or something. But also since we found out I was pregnant, I started taking these, adding this in with it, the Absolute Greens. It contains organic fruits and vegetables. 
So you get your daily fruits and vegetables in one scoop. You can feel the difference, taste the difference. It's recommended for kids, of course me <laughs> too, because um, sometimes, especially right now, I'm just not eating a lot. So this was like to substitute for that. And so I've been doing that as my shakes. But because I've been just like, ugh, it's been hard to take my shakes every morning. Like before now, I could take a shake in the morning and I'm like ready to go. And it's not hard to get it down. It tastes really good. But it's just this pregnancy. I just hadn't been able to do it that well. So that's where these come in. And these really help because I'm able to take my shake and then I take one of these. And they're pretty big little hard candies. So um, I'll get one of these and then I'll just do that. And I'm also trying to get these down every day. Molly, go. Yep. These are my prenatal vitamins because, Molly, because I can't take the big pills. Um, it's a whole other story. Um, in our family, it's just hard for us to, like, swallow. We've had, a lot of people in our family has had our throats, like, stretched. Because we'll, like, just be eating lunch or dinner and I'll, like, get choked on, like, rice or chicken or anything like that that'll get chewed up really good. So it's hard for me to take big pills, those prenatal pills. So that's why Joel got me these, but these are, the serving size is six. I have to take six of these a day, and sometimes that's really hard to do, um, especially right now. So I try to, but sometimes it's hard to. But, I mean, they're really good. So they're really good. They're just like the little gummy. I'm going to have hair all over me, laying on me. <laughs> and then these are my omega-3, and you just squeeze it out, and it just like, takes like a little orange. I just wanted to show you guys that that's what I've been taking and staying healthy and all that. So I've been trying to keep up with my workouts. I'm going to try to keep up with that this time. I've been trying to drink less sweet tea and drink more water. And we'll see if I have the gestational diabetes this time. I don't know, but they'll probably test me for too long since I had it last time. I did go to the doctor. I don't think it's, the, I think it's the next week that I go. So in just a couple of weeks. Oh yeah, now this week the baby's looking more like a little human than like before it just looks like a little blob or whatever. But now it's looking like you can start seeing its fingers and stuff now. So that's really cool and it starts like looking more like a real little baby and all that. But we won't really have another ultrasound or even have, just have one more ultrasound to find out the gender and all. So by then, because that'll be close to 20 weeks when you're halfway through. So that's in like 10 more weeks from now. I wonder when that will be. Let me see. It's going to be right around my birthday when we find out the gender. So around April 11th is my birthday. And that's in about 10 weeks. And that's probably when we'll find out the gender sometime the beginning of April, I bet. And we're not really sure what we're going to do with the gender reveal this time. We're, we are having a really hard time. Joel wants to find out at the ultrasound as soon as possible. And that's probably what we'll do because we're both like so excited and very anxious to find out what it is, but I am going to do like the other gender, um, the gender prediction tests and all that. I'm really excited to do that. So we'll probably do that in another, I'd say a few weeks or get closer to time. So, but yeah, there's just so many, leave me some ideas below about the gender reveal parties or whatever. Like give me some ideas because we want to do something different this time and cool, but I'm not really sure what to do, so a lot of fun. But it's been so awesome, like, talking to Kinsley about it because she's really, like, she's so excited. She keeps wanting to, like, feel for the baby on my belly, and I'm like, I don't have a big belly yet, and the baby's not kicking yet, but before long it will be, and she's really excited to experience all of that, and I'm excited for her that now she's six, and she's going to be more excited. She really kind of knows more about like, what's going on. And, like, we'll say, what do you want, like, a boy or a girl? And she'll say a girl, or, like, we'll say brother and sister, and she'll say, like a sister or a girl. She's like, I want dad to be the only boy. <laughs> and it's just so funny. And then Claire, if you ask her, she's like a brother. Uh, of course. So we'll see. Like just little things she'll say. Like we've been saying, you know, mom needs to stay healthy. And like if you eat carrots or an apple, like, you know, try to get mom to eat a carrot and apple. Or we'll try to eat healthy things together to stay healthy. And she's like, well, you can't eat candy because the baby will get cavities in there. And the baby doesn't have a toothbrush. <laughs> it's just so funny like just the things that she thinks like that like you know she thinks the baby needs to brush his teeth if I eat candy because it's gonna get cavity it's so cute it's so, fun. so now when we start vlogging because we'll be telling you guys 
very soon. I cannot wait to tell you guys. I think we're going to tell you guys this week to have the pictures. I'm just waiting for the right time. I'm probably going to do it over this weekend sometime. So in the vlogs and stuff, we'll be able to talk more about it. Because I've we've talked about it and like I want to film her like saying something like that. And like she'll, but then like I can't because I'm like, I can't put that in the vlog. Now we'll be able to talk about it and with you guys and get your opinions and to get her little sayings like that she's just so cute. And Claire too and Claire was saying that she wouldn't have a brother and all that. I wanted to film her but I was just like I'm just gonna enjoy this moment at this time and we'll get this filmed later on and but it's just so cute. I'm so excited for them to be big sisters. I still can't believe that Claire is gonna be a big sister because I still feel like she's my little baby and she's going crazy and she's gonna be like the middle child and I just didn't know if this day would come. I didn't know if I would just have two kiddos. And now I think I am going to have three. Oh my gosh. Our life is going to get crazy busy. And you guys will see in the vlogs. It's just going to be so crazy. So crazy. Alright. I think that's pretty much it. I think this one might be a little bit shorter. I feel like they've been getting kind of long. But then. And I think I don't have that much to say. But then I just start talking like crazy. So, And if you are curious about like names. We do definitely have a boy named Big Dad. I talked about this in my q and I did a while back. I have no idea for a girl. I don't know if I would stick with K's for a girl. I don't know if I'd do something totally different. I have no idea. But a boy name, we definitely have picked out. We're going to keep that to ourselves for a little bit until we figure everything out. So I don't end up having a boy. I'll definitely tell you in case somebody wants to use it. But we kind of have that one. Even though we have that one picked out, if it really is a boy, I think we'll still think about a lot of other names that we like just to make sure you know and we don't have a male name picked out so that'll be that'll be another thing to think about but I just want to mention that you don't mind me asking about that and I'm trying to answer some things I think y'all would ask but definitely ask me some questions below that I can like answer in my next vlog because I will definitely want to do that for you guys so now I'll show you my belly okay guys so this is I'm not sure if I should say nine or ten weeks this is what we're looking like now. So I feel like I um, still haven't changed that much. Um, yeah, I still feel like it's fine. It's all right. You know, everything is it's just, I feel like I just still look kind of similar. I don't really get big, I feel like, until closer to the second trimester. So, um, now. I think I've gotten a little bit bigger though. Um, I think I'm right at 30. About 30 inches around now. Yep. Right in there. And yeah, we probably won't really see my belly start changing until here soon. I bet it'll just like pop out just out of nowhere. So that's usually what happens. So. Thanks guys so much for watching. I'm so excited for this pregnancy and to get everything started and tell you guys now and be able to like talk about it more and in the vlogs and everything is going to be a lot of fun and just do all the pregnant stuff and I can't believe we're going to have another one in September. That's crazy September and I feel like it's just going to fly by because the summer is always fun and fun vacations and then it's just going to, it's going to be here before we know it. It's going to be so cool. So I can't wait, but thank y'all so much. Subscribe, comment, like, check out our day's vlogs, and we'll see you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye!